Hello, and welcome to Photography One. My name is Mr. Sterling. I teach Photography One here at Westfield. I also teach Photography Two and AP Photography, uh, Visual Communications, which is basically graphic design, and yearbook. Photography One is the first of the three courses we offer, and I treat it as um, a, really a foundation with the possibility of you moving on through the whole program. Uh, photography One is a one trimester course, as is Photography Two and AP Photography, so it's actually a pretty quick track to get some AP credit. In this video, I just wanted to, you know, lay out the structure of the class, the program, and most importantly, how it's going to be organized both digitally and in the class. So uh, the main thing you need to understand is that we're going to take pictures. Um, and we're going to do it almost entirely outside of school. Most of the projects are broken down into a one-week uh, term, and they will all be submitted digitally. In fact, virtually everything we do will be digital. We'll be using primarily Canvas uh, as a means to communicate and for you to uh, find all the resources you'll be needing to complete the projects as well as the primary way of submitting your work. Um, so if you're listening to this video, you've obviously found the home page for Photo One. Uh, right now, in the video, it looks blank. However, there's probably a little bit more content as you look at it. Um, at the top, any special announcement or just quick thing I need to get out to you guys, that's where it'll be located. And I can't think of a simpler place for it to be other than the first thing you see. As you scroll down, you will see a weekly agenda. This is not going to be um, super detailed, uh, super complicated, even because, uh, as I've said before, everything is down to week-long projects. So I'm going to kind of lay out everything that we're going to be doing for the week at the beginning of the week, give you all the resources, and then it'll be due on Friday. Uh, furthermore, I'm going to make all of those resources and all of those assignments available at any time. So there's a degree that you can look ahead and almost bounce around. Now, the uh, assignments have fixed deadlines, but uh, there's nothing to stop you from looking ahead or looking at different resources that maybe could help you as well. So uh, again, this is blank now, but this is where you'll have most of your basics. When I structured this class, and I have really changed a lot, um, obviously due to moving everything onto Canvas, but that allowed me to also change uh, how I'm formatting my resources that I'm providing to you. And when I did it, I did it through um, creating week-long individual modules. So I'm going to take you to the modules page, and that's really the starting point for anything you want to find. If we go to modules, you'll see the first one is called Getting Started, and that's what we're going to get you going on today. Now, a lot of the resources I haven't made yet because I'm in the process of recording the videos now, but they will be located in introduction videos. That's showing you things like um, how to turn in your photographs using Canvas. Uh, we're going to use another program called Edpuzzle, and one of those videos will show you how to create an account. They go on talking about basics of Photoshop, cameras, things like that. So all very essential stuff for us to get rolling in photography. Beneath that is our first kind of unit, the principles of design, which are the foundation not only for um, our photographs, but um, any artwork that you'd be doing. Hopefully, if you've taken an art class before, that idea of principles of design, things like movement and balance and emphasis are a little bit familiar to you. If not, this will um, be a quick crash course in a, in a project that's associated with it. So you can see there's going to be uh, resources and information, resources and information here, but then the assignment itself is located right here. And uh, you can see it will be a digital submission. Um, and again, there'll be resources that show you how to uh, exactly do that in this uh, information here. But then as we get on past that first week or so, we get into really the kind of system that we'll just keep repeating. So here's your first photo assignment. There'll be resources again, 
videos, student examples, terms, and uh, then you have your actual photo that you're going to turn in. Um, how to do that will be explained in videos up here. And then it just repeats. Light is our first theme of the week. I never dictate to you what we take a picture of, but I do give you um, a theme or um, some sort of stylistic thing to look for. It becomes light, then texture, and it goes on like that color and shape, things like that. At the end of the trimester, there are a couple unique projects where it is basically like a little mini AP photography portfolio. Uh, you'll do a few different photos that all share a uh, kind of central idea that we're investigating. So it's got a little bit more of a concept to it. Um, that's way down the line, and we can worry about that later. But the reason we do that, I'll just say, is because I do want to make you as prepared as possible to move on to photo two, where a lot of what we're doing there um, is becoming a little bit more technical, both with cameras and Photoshop. And then that last step, AP photography, which in my experience, well, let me first say in my experience, everyone that's ever taken it has passed the AP portfolio. You don't take a test, you submit a portfolio. Furthermore, all but my first year teaching it, and this was years ago, everyone's gotten a four or a five. If you're familiar with the College Board and AP, it's scored at a five, three, and higher is passing. So let me say that. If you move through photo one, photo two, and AP photography, you should not have any problem creating a portfolio that is very successful. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's out of the reach for almost every student that wants to apply themselves here. Well, um, I think that's all I have to say here. Um, again, what you want to do is go down to modules and start going through those getting started videos. The first one you're going to look at is an introduction to Edpuzzle. Um, in Edpuzzle, uh, it, it's basically uh, a way for you to watch a video, but I've inserted some follow-up questions throughout it. The nice thing for me is it'll grade those questions and automatically enter it into the grade book. So it is important that you do watch the videos and that you watch them through their entirety and you answer the questions. Uh, the other thing that you should be aware of is that some of the work we're going to submit is not only through Canvas but through Google Drive. Now you all have a Google account through the school and you'll be using that account. There should be a link down in the Getting Started module to this um, Google Drive folder called Photography 1 2020 through 2021. And that is where you're going to, you know, um, go to, you know, click the link, go to this folder, and you see light line texture. These are our first projects. You're going to turn in your photo into Canvas, but there's some additional content that needs to get turned in into Google Drive. And there's a few reasons for that, and I'll get into that in another video. But um, yeah, if you ever have a question, you can message me through Canvas or email me. Um, you should see a little bit more content here, but I believe that is all you need to get started. Good luck.